Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app for many mobile devices. Let's give this guy some help. Quite a funky movement with his right side and left side really into the downswing. Um, we're going to see if we can give him some help with his lower half through the ball, which I think might help him hit some better strikes, hopefully. He gets in a pretty amazing impact position. Let's see if we can help him. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so we look at his swing here. We see um, backswing relatively neat. Now we see a downswing where his low half just seems to stop, doesn't it? It just seems to kind of give up. It kind of, suddenly his right leg almost locks, requiring a bit of a, a kind of epic flick forward with the wrist to try and hit the ball. I can't believe your striking is that consistent like that. Um, we'd like to see a little bit more looseness in your knees on the downswing. So for me, I'd certainly like to see you hit a few shots where you start by your normal backswing, but then just try and get your right knee over to touch your left knee to finish. So try and feel that your legs are much looser on the downswing, feel like you're almost bending down into them as your right knee comes over to your left, so almost like a little squat and a jump as you hit the ball. Get rid of this kind of locking, flicking. If you can get the sequence of your downswing a little better, I think you'll get the sequence of delivery a little better. You won't be needing to do such a aggressive kind of handle, flicky, forward follow through position that you get, which I think will just help you with your strikes. Similar to a pitch shot, if I had a wedge in my hand, you know, it'd be much more linked up to how much I'm turning. I wouldn't be trying to hit it that way. With that amount of loft and the sharp edge, I feel like I'm gonna scull it, you know, run it along the floor all the time. So it's a case of almost trying to open up into the ball, but do it in your legs, loosen them up. So normal backswing, downswing, don't try and hit the ball as in, don't focus on the strike, just focus on getting right knee, to finish touching left. And it needs to go sideways. So you feel like the back of the right foot's coming up as the knee comes across, moving into that left. And like I say, you could almost feel like you go down to come out of that as well just to get a bit of freedom in that lower half. You're going to feel your hips turning into the ball a bit more. Hopefully it'll just allow you to sink the handle forward a bit more so you get a little bit more catchy up you down at impact rather than so kind of flippy and rescue. But you're having the rescue, the lack of movement in that lower half really. Um, give that a practice, let me know how you go. It's a, it's a good drill for people. It does really help them kind of loosen up and get a little bit more consistency in their striking it helps the sequencing of their downswing and their impact position which does really like i say it gives them a quite a different quality of strike down by the ball when they're sinking that downswing sequence up rather than kind of resisting resisting against maybe kind of one side of your body that's fighting so it makes the other parts of your body have to compensate and do more um post comments let me know that's a different one Getting your knees moving, lots of people do find that hard at the start, you will hit some funny strikes as you're practicing that. But give that a practice, I think you'll find that your striking pattern will change. I think the loft that you deliver would change as well, which help with kind of how high or low the ball's going, certainly high I'd imagine for you, which might help with a little bit of distance control as well. Thanks for buying the app, thanks for sending the swing, post comments as always guys, and thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app for many mobile devices. Let's give this guy some help. Quite a funky movement with his right side and left side really into the downswing. Um, we're gonna see if we can give him some help with his lower half through the ball, which I think might help him hit some better strikes, hopefully. He gets in a pretty amazing impact position. Let's see if we can help him. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so we look at his swing here. We see um, backswing relatively neat. Now we see a downswing where his lower half just seems to stop, doesn't it? It just seems to kind of give up. It kind of, suddenly his right leg almost locks, 
requiring a bit of a, a kind of epic flick forward with the wrist to try and hit the ball. I can't believe your striking is that consistent like that. Um, we'd like to see a little bit more looseness in your knees on the downswing. So for me, I'd certainly like to see you hit a few shots where you start by your normal backswing, but then. Just